conversation, there will be weeks to four chances of better mixed conversation with the best of all Friday soccer. It's a half The day has finally arrived. A get-together. The Chevy Petros and Money Summer Tour kicks off its third tour stop. We're broadcasting live at Schooner at Sunset from Sunset Beach at 16821 Pacific Coast Highway. Join us in person for your chance to register for a brand new 2014 Chevy Silverado. Now, on the home of LA's best sports talk, Dodgers Radio, AM 570, Fox Sports LA. Here's Petros Papadakis and Matt Money Smith. The Doom Show. <laughs> Turn off Vic's mic. My God. Will minus intellect constitutes vulgarity. It's Petros and Money on AM570 Box Sports LA. We are live in Sunset Beach on location. Schooner at Sunset. It is our third stop on the Petros and Money Show summer tour. We will be here until 4.30 at 4.15. We will do our part. On the Morongo Casino, Dodgers on deck before we hand it over to the skipper, Kevin Kennedy. Charlie, Rick, David Vasse, maybe a few sound bites from Vin Scully. And that'll be that. That'll be that. They'll but be in Denver. Vin doesn't go no. past the Rocky I Mountains. Forgot. But he might call in. Reggae Chris is here making it a real crunchy groove Thursday. Hello to his wife. Reggae Chris's wife at home listening. She feeling okay, Chris? She's all right. Doing all right. Resting up for Disneyland later, I'm sure. Reggae Chris is here. It's a Crunchy Group Thursday, but it's also a Frogman Friday, and there's Frogman? no doubt about it. On a Frogman Frog Friday, the Petrus and Money Show celebrates the ocean, and man, can we do so here at Schooner at Sunset. How inappropriate to call this planet Earth when it is quite clearly ocean. And the truth is, Mike Nelson knew that, the character played by Lloyd Bridges in the greatest television show ever produced. A show that should run on a loop here at Schooners at Sunset, a wonderful place. See, hon. Well, come on, get something and help. It'll be dark soon. You want to sit out here in this raft all night? No, but we might have to. Well, not if you do something. You want to listen to me for a minute? Yeah. During the war, I was in UDT. I've been stranded in these rafts before. All right. Then tell us what to do. Well, let's not sit here and wait. Let's do something. Let's think first, huh? That's the first law of survival. we got to save our strength. We might need it. Yeah, Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, Nimoy. Yeah, yeah Nimoy. Save your mouth. strength. Dumbass. Don Martin. 13-5, my man. What are you, nuts? We still got to take that stuff to Florida. You know what that's like these days? Come on, my man. They got the Navy all over the effing place. They got EC2s with the satellite tracking in them on G Dot. You know what that like these days? They got Frogman. Frogman? No duck walk anymore, my man. Forget about 13.5. What do you suggest is reasonable? C Lab quickly, and we got prizes to tell you about. You'd be disappointed if we didn't play it, right? I didn't play the C Lab. I can see that the Sea Lab is lost on you. The Sea Lab! Underneath the water! Well, you mentioned prizes, P, and we have a slew of them. Register to win. We'll be doing a raffle at the end of the broadcast. Hang out. Winner need be present or no? 
Winner yeah, you gotta be here. must be present. So we'll do it at the end of the show. We will pull the tickets. Given away today, right in front of us, Hardware, a big Bertha Alpha driver. That's a $400 club, courtesy of our friends at Callaway and Roger Dunn, rdgolf.com. We have Dodger tickets versus Atlanta on the 29th. Why is that a big deal? This well, isn't going to be raffled, though, this Bertha. I'm just going to throw it into the crowd like a spear. <laughs> is that cool? Up for grabs. Yeah, is that that's okay, right? Roger Dunn's okay. You know what? I shouldn't do. Yeah, maybe it's we'll, your maybe we'll raffle it's your endorsement, it. yeah, Matt. You do what we'll, you want. Maybe we'll raffle that. I just had a moment. I was gonna just toss it in the crowd like a spear. The uh, Dodger tickets were given away for Vince Scully's 65th anniversary night. The giveaway: a Vince Scully talking microphone. Our man Siegel says it is the biggest promotion of the year. So I believe I don't know if the game sold out or not. Close to. Still you know what else available. he says? <laughs> yeah. OC Fair tickets, Knott's Berry Farm tickets, ASIC World Series of Beach Volleyball t-shirts, Kerry Walsh brand volleyballs, courtside seats to the matches. Hey, we got a birthday. Got a yeah, birthday happy going? birthday to hey, that guy. Is that a tuxedo cake? Fantastic. No, it's a lovely lady. And we also have tickets to the Irwindale Speedway this Saturday. How about this for a 4th of July weekend? Saturday July 5th, you could win if your ticket is pulled. Eight VIP this, suite this tickets. This is a great prize. It's a big, big deal worth If it was in the water, I would get a scuba license and go get it. <laughs> we will be giving them away. You will not have to swim in the ocean to get the tickets for this. Eight VIP suite tickets. Eight L.A. Carding Experience passes. Eight meal tickets. Two VIP parking passes. Two L.A. Racing Experience VIP adventure. Twenty race passes. And behind-the-scenes pit tour before the race. Not to mention, the entire group gets a ride in the Toyota Camry pace car. And the entire group invited down onto the racetrack. And you get to announce, drivers, start your engine. Oh, my God. How about that? Right before the first Lucas Oil late model main event. Plus, one member from the group gets to wave that green flag for the final Lucas Oil late model main event. The green flag's before the final lap, right? Isn't that it? First lap. Yeah, you know, first, last, it's all the same. So there you go. You get to wave the uh, the green flag. Robin's That's racing, a big man. deal. That is a big, big package. So get on down here. Make sure you're present around 430 when we do our raffle. That courtesy of the Irwindale Speedway in the All-American Series. Um, while, yeah, there we go. While his limo, Don McClain's limo, is being loaded with 21-year-old sorority girls, he is still here. <laughs> is that what's happening? To is? hang out. Long yeah. Beach State up the road. Yeah, they're they're the into DGs. it. They're into it for the Katy Perry best of you got rolling in Let's there. Let's take the long way home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take the 5 to the 60. <laughs> Out to the 118. To the 210. <laughs> Take him by my statue and see me. We sent a guy out to Lemon Park. How'd did it you, go? Did you hear that the other day? No. He said it was looking good, but a lot of a lot of bird crap on your statue these days, they say. Got to get out there and wash it, Don. You have to raise some money for a, Look, they built for a statue, <laughs> statue washer. <laughs> they built it, Don. The upkeep's get on you. Get some money to the city. Uh, the upkeep is on you. All right, so I don't know if you want to grab Gotta a Got to get one of those long poles with the squeegee. And That's just... right. I'll do it. I'll do it, we too. We can do it for a remote. I mean, that would be another great idea for a remote. But Don McClain is here until he decides to get in his That's limo. That's a pretty full beer. I think he's here for at least another segment after this. That's he, a full beer. He can go pretty fast. He's Man, pretty that'll tall. that'll be gone by the end of this segment. <laughs> i got a wooden leg down here like John Saunders. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. It's time for the Word of the Day. He heard me with his words. The word of the day. The word of the day, as it's pulling up, I believe is pious. I think that's what I went with. Piety? The word of the day is pious slash piety. And the definition... Who are you attacking? The well, Catholic Church? I am you... not attacking the Catholic Church. I am attacking one Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin is a devoted Christian. What's he doing, He has Matt? a Jesus-themed avatar that misuses the word literally, but is still a bit funny. But wait a minute. He went to Harvard. He did go to Harvard. Harvard, you would think he'd know how to use the word literally. It's, it's got Jesus sitting on like a, a log with a Jeremy Lin looking dude. And it said, no, I, I don't want you to follow me on Twitter. I want you to literally follow me. <laughs> but no, he doesn't literally want you to follow him. He yeah. wants you to follow 
you know, the example that he set. Well, so, maybe it was Jer- is it Jeremy Lin of yesteryear? Maybe he was being invited to be like one of the original twelve so, back in the day. Yeah, like one of the, the, the apostles that really actually followed Jesus. So around. there's uh, three definitions in the Merriam-Webster dictionary for pious, devoutly religious, mm-hmm. making a hypocritical display of virtue and sincere but unlikely to be fulfilled. And uh, I think Jeremy Lin's tweets from yesterday have a smidge of each in there. He's got 1.28 million followers, okay. all right? So I mean, we all remember Lin's sanity. Here's the way it works. Um, this is a man that's going to make $15 million next it's year. To out, play. You don't need to ask Don McClain. I mean, I can tell you it's panned out well for Houston. The, uh, he's going to make $15 <laughs> million from Houston or someone else to play the game of basketball. He was so offended by the Rockets' attempts to woo Carmelo Anthony they put images of Melo on their big digital board with his number seven jersey. That's yeah, what Melo wears. Like when you recruit a football player or a basketball player, you put something up on the scoreboard. Right. It, it well, seems a little bush league in the pro But world. let me ask you something. Do you think that the marketing people, that that was for sure what they meant to do and knew that it was going to... I think you know, they, they would say, take a shot hey, at insanity. Jeremy Lin's a Harvard guy. He probably gets it. He knows that we're not going to put Mello up there without a number. But my question gonna... is, do you think there's any chance that that was a mistake? Oh, like they, didn't they didn't put didn't two even, and two together. They didn't think about the fact he's right. number seven? I don't think they even cared. I don't right. think it, it, it never entered their mind. I can it's... see that you know PR people yeah. in the NBA. I remember when they did a video for Blake Griffin or something to make the All-Star game before Chris Paul showed up for the Clippers. And Chris came in and had, like, total all-star numbers in the yeah. first half. And he's, like, sitting in the locker room watching the video like, hey. hey. And they didn't, the they didn't even <laughs> right. occur to right. them. They're yeah. like, oh, oh. That's why I asked the question. Yeah. I bet you it might have been a mistake. So, well, here's what here's what Jeremy Lin had to say. All right, this was his position. Apparently he was upset. So he took to Twitter and he tweeted, Luke, 629, if someone slaps you on one cheek, turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat. Do not withhold your shirt from He them. quoted Christ. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, apparently they took his shirt, or they took his coat, yeah. and he's going to offer, because really that's... $15 million next year, you're not turning the other cheek. I think if you're going to, you know, if you are devoutly religious, six, 629 Luke, you know, that's that's exactly what Luke was speaking about. Well. You know, if, if you're making $15 million next year from the Rockets, and they dare use your number seven jersey to try to recruit Carmelo Anthony... Just turn the other cheek, young you know, man. Yeah. In the world of Christianity, too, you know, it's one thing to quote the Bible. It is a whole other thing to quote the gospel. And then it's a whole other thing to quote the gospel when Jesus was talking. And that is this. Yeah. And I don't think it applies to an NBA contract situation. I just, but, but I don't know. Even an NBA contract. I don't know. He's got the avatar. It says to follow him literally. So I don't know if he... I, for me, it's just, I don't think it, I just don't think it applies. No, I'll show them. I'll quote yeah. Luke 629, and I'll get the Christians you know, now, behind now, me. Now, uh, another high-profile case way back in the day, shortly after the Boston Massacre, John Adams had to be a lawyer for the British soldiers that, that killed Americans. Of course, he's an American patriot and, and part of the revolution. That That's turning the other cheek for justice and, and, and giving mm-hmm. of yourself. Setting an example yeah, and of that's what a, this fine and, nation And that's a rich guy for. and all that. Yeah. This is I don't not. No, no, P. It seems similar. Those I, two things. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Luke six twenty nine, I believe, is applicable here in this situation. What else did he tweet? That was it. Just the a single tweet. Just Luke six twenty nine. That's all he tweeted. That was the only comment he had about them using Mello on in hoop, his on, number seven on hoops hype yesterday. Somebody tweeted after his tweet, and he responded to that. I forget what it was, but then that was it. I think he responded to that, shut up, UMF-er. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go out like Adam Richman. Did you see that? Oh, my God. show's pulled. I had to look it up. I had to. T- I, I never got awesome. to it. I wanted to do it yesterday for the number of the day, but we had that Speedway what was the uh, What was the, the hashtag that he used that everyone got offended by? Thin... Inspiration. Inspiration. Say it, Matt. Yeah. You're skinny too. They'll come right after you. Coming as well. after me. Number of the day. You didn't hear about this. Here's my number. Uh, 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 uh. Number of the day. First, this. Today's number is three one zero. Those are the first three numbers. The area code, if you're from the states, if you will, for the secret textile line, which has been sold to Chevrolet, and will be revealed after. The lessons learned in great sports talk in just great about an sports hour. Talk. Live here from Schooner at Sunset, an hour and 15 minutes away. We will do the the fifth ever 
secret textoso reveal. Now, are you going to turn the ringer on? Uh, I'm out of batteries right now. What? So I'm just about out. What? You got charging? Yeah. All right. Come buy it honestly, people. Either come here to Schooner on Sunset or or you can ask me for it just like a human being with, with antiquated interaction, human human touching, or you can be a friendster and listen for the next hour or listen for it the next hour. We'll get to it eventually. And, Matt, before you talk about my mood post-reveal anymore, because I know what you're getting at. It's salty. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because first, I expect a lighter day because of the flex alert today. We started at noon. I mean, Dodgers coming up at 4.15. Normally you do it 5 o'clock. Yeah. Normally you do it peak peak time at the Petrosa Money Show. prime time. Uh, It's a holiday, and there is traffic. So I don't know. New to four is prime time show as far as I'm concerned. It's prime time. It's not prime time featuring anybody. Right here, prime time. New to four. No, it's. No, it's prime time. <laughs> with we're me. Not, we're not on in the East. Yeah, anymore. but it's pride. Call it prime time. Prime time, time. Prime time with me. <laughs> name of my show. You're telling me it's not prime time. It's on the name of the show. It's on the title. Prime and, time and with me. Also, <laughs> how could I be angry with these wonderful fans and people here? <laughs> we'll be in a great mood. There's no doubt when the secret text also line is revealed once again. I'll tell you what's awesome. Let me tell you what's awesome. <laughs> it's his fans. Hey, Sammy, that was great. Five home runs in a row. Wow, that was a... Let me tell you what's great. It's this amazing fans right here. <laughs> Roddy. Roddy, we need a song of the day, please. This is the song of the day. <laughs> We've got a groovy thing going on as our song of the day from the crunchy duo of Simon and Garfunkel. Because it is a crunchy group Thursday on the Petros and Money Show, where we've got a groovy thing going on with a live broadcast from Schooner at Sunset on Pacific Coast Highway, Sunset Beach, for stop number three of the Petros and Money Show summer tour. Beautifully delivered. Wonderful. And we want to say a big thank you to the leading scorer in the history of the Pac-12, works for the Pac-12 Network and the Clippers. Our BFF, Don McClain. Yeah, he's sticking around for two more. No, no, no. 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 John Heyman. John Heyman. Will join us when we get back? The doobie smoker himself on a crunchy groove on Thursday. You know. You join us after that, Don. That that is right. And Virginia, <laughs> a wonderful PMS listener, celebrates her 89th birthday right wow. here. All right, there Virginia. At Schooners at Sunset. Happy birthday, Virginia. God bless you, dear. There we go. And Verna, the mail person, has arrived. Hello, Verna. She was stuck in some traffic. We're glad you made it. Please come on down. we got great giveaways. We'll be right back with John Heyman talking baseball live from Schooner at Sunset in Sunset Beach. Yeah. Hello, everybody. What's cracking? Todo es mentira. It's great to see everybody. Happy Frogman Thursday on a Crunchy Group Thursday. Happy birthday to you, Victoria, you 89-year-old vixen. She gave us a piece of cake. God bless you. 